<laughs> okay, so the, this problem is all about perspective, all right? The setup is still the same. We're still going to use the similar triangles, but it's all about your perspective. So if you look at the way that um, I set up what should have been for part B, and what rate is the length of the shadow changing, um, so that is that change from BS over DT right here. Um, so that's why this setup <coughs> works for part B. But when we're talking about part A, um, at what rate is the tip of his shadow moving? Well, that's talking about the rate of change of this entire distance because it's the tip of the shadow. What that's moving at, that's that whole distance right there. So <coughs> what I did is I went back and I labeled this whole side as Y. Um, because I already labeled this part right here as x, the distance between the man and the, um, the distance between the man and the pole. Uh, so when we set up the similar triangles here, we have the big vertical distance over the big point line distance of 15 over y, okay, is equal to the smaller vertical distance, 6, over the smaller horizontal distance, which in this case would be the whole thing, y minus x, the distance between uh, the man and the pole. Now the reason why I still have to include that is because if I don't include that x right there, I don't use that whole the rate at which he's walking away. Um, so then I simplify 15 over 6, or 15 over 6, reduce by 3, cross multiply, Shadow is moving. 